Spring is such a beautiful time of year when the grass is starting to turn green, buds are coming on the trees, your windows in your house can be open with that nice fresh breeze and it's just a time to love your home as a homemaker for a new season, a change of life and just to nurture your house in a way that spring cleaning can bring. So today I'm going to share with you several different areas to spring clean your whole entire house. Now I have been doing this throughout the past couple months honestly because I am pregnant and I wanted to do a lot of that when I had more energy in my second trimester. So now that I'm in my third I know I'm a little more tired, um, I just don't want to do as much of the heavy duty stuff as I did before. So I'm just going to share with you the areas for the past month or so that I have been really working on cleaning out, airing out, freshening up my home and loving on my home as a homemaker. And if you watched my homemaking videos, you've probably seen some of these areas, but I'm just going to touch on them again if you forgot or if you just want all these areas in one clump video. So I hope this encourages you today to be able to spring clean some of these areas in your home. And remember, this does not have to be all done in one day because like I said this has been over the past month or so that I have been working on these areas but the first areas are in the kitchen and that includes the fridge and the stove cleaning out behind it pulling it out getting it um, swept up vacuumed up getting the sides of the fridge and the stove wiped down these areas just tend to collect gritty food grime and dust and it's just good to have a clean slate on the sides and underneath and then also to clean the insides of your stove and your fridge as well. So wiping down the shelves, getting all of the wire rack in the stove cleaned and then cleaning out the bottom. Just things that we may pass throughout the rest of the year but that you know it's okay to get them a little fresh again for the next season. Also the cabinets, the cabinet handles, I like to do this actually a couple times a year. I wipe them down with a wet cloth and my handles since they are horizontal they tend to get grime and food crumbs in them so I will wipe those handles down as well and get in the cracks and crevices to get out the little food crumbs. If your handles are the correct way they're supposed to be, you don't tend to have this issue as much, but I do like to clean those out. And then of course the baseboards, and that's just all across the house really. Um, clean where, or the footboards, whatever you wanna call them. Clean under there because in the kitchen, foods tends to somehow get stuck to that. It's just, you know, really pretty grimy and grody and that area should, look decent even if you you're, I can't see it every day in my opinion it's just something to know that that's been cleaned that's been wiped and it's a fresh clean slate and also the backsplash this sometimes for me I wipe just certain areas if I see a spot but I don't go across the whole area and so wiping the entire backsplash with soap and water just a natural cleaner really helps get that grimy cooking sprays food splatters whatever else has touched that area. All right, so the next area I have done is my walls and my door frames. Cobwebs collect on walls, even if you feel like they shouldn't, they do. If they're textured, especially they do. And so just wiping them down with a dry cloth. In the bathroom, I did use a damp cloth. And then door frames, of course, because there's a ledge that collects dirt and dust, it's just good to wipe those down. So along with that would be your lights. So cleaning out your lights, wiping down your ceiling fans. You, if you watch one of my homemaking videos or the five areas you should clean in your home, my ceiling fan was not great. It was, it was super gross, very much growing with little dust bunnies. So definitely clean out your lights with a dry cloth, your, light shades, lamps, all that stuff. Just get it wiped out, vacuum it out, get the bugs out, wipe down your ceiling fans. Just start with 
fresh upper area. Windows, curtains, blinds. I always take down my curtains and wash them twice a year. I wipe down my blinds actually quite often because we live on a dusty road and so my blinds do get dusty but wipe those down. They definitely are very visible area because the eye is looking out the window so wipe your blinds down. Um, wash your curtains like I said and dry them or air dry them if it's nice outside and then clean your windows. I love the look of clean windows especially after the winter when somehow bugs have gotten on there um, maybe water dripped down through it. Clean your window sills if they haven't been open for a while. This is one area being on a dusty road. It gets really gross somehow and so just wipe out the frames and the sills of your window. Get that dirt out of there and just make it clean so your windows can be open and not blowing more dust and dirt into them. And then we have wiping down plants. So I have fresh plant or live plants in my home and so I like to wipe the leaves down with just a damp cloth uh, like my spider plant and um, aloe plant, just some other plants. If you have faux plants, wash them in some water, let them dry, that way the dust doesn't show on them. It's just nice to know if they're faux plants that if they're dusty they don't look quite so faux and just to give them a good wiping down. Alright, furniture. In one of my most recent homemaking videos I did an air out of my furniture cushions, vacuumed my furniture off, um, did a baking soda cleaner on the furniture just to give them some freshness, literally get some fresh air and sun on them by setting the cushions outside on the tarp. And the same thing with your rugs. So I kind of started my way up at the top and then worked my way down because like I said, it's just good to get all the dust from the top first and then work your way down since you'll be dropping dust from the top down to the bottom. So then I aired out some of my rugs. You can do the baking soda on a rug, leave it there for 10 minutes and vacuum it if you can't take your rugs outside. But just to air everything out, you could do that with blankets, you could do that with pillow covers. I mean really it's endless with stuff that can be aired out. I mean we air out our homes. Um, I love airing out laundry outside. If I didn't live in such a dusty road I would all the time. But just to air those things out that you can't typically do. And then I also think it's important to wipe down your doors to your entry of your home because when people come to your home they want to feel welcome and so having a fresh wiped down door that looks clean doesn't have all that dirt and snow if you live in that type of climate like we do um, embedded on it uh, the handles wiped down just having a nice front entry a nice um, way to feel welcome into the home is always a good place to start with the spring cleaning too. So these are several of my areas that I have been working on throughout the past month and hopefully like I said you can feel motivated to do some of these areas in your home today. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.